A warm welcome to all our viewers, to our series Natural Medicine. Today we are going to talk about the Emperor of Heaven's Pill. What is behind this wonderful name? It's about a good night's sleep. Namely, using blends from traditional Chinese medicine that have been tried and tested over centuries, and will be presented to us today by a doctor. What did the ancient dynasties know to optimize and improve so that we sleep better? And here in our so-called civilized world, I've heard 60% of people face sleep problems. So, maybe the show is just the key for you. Stay tuned. Here we are again, and now I can show you my TCM expert. He's a doctor, it's Dieter Holly. Welcome, dear Dieter. Hello. I came across you and all these TCM blends, because you wrote such a wonderful book. I say, this is the pharmacy, nobody should be without it at home. And surprisingly, for almost everything I can find some kind of herb here that nature has allowed to grow, which has an incredible effect in special constellations. So thank you very much. And I just found the pill or the mixture of the Emperor of Heaven. Tell me a little bit about it. Many, many years ago, the emperors in China lived in an extra palace in Beijing. It was a whole big compound, in the middle of a city, with its own royal household. Everything you need to live as an emperor was in there. It was very isolated from the usual world. And this emperor had discovered one day that he was suffering from very specific disorders. And he called his medical staff, one would say today, to advise on what could help him. Back then, what was meant was a recipe from Chinese medicine. Now there are various sagas and rumors about this story. One that says the emperor had the following diseases. Insomnia, difficulty concentrating, fatigue, tiredness, poor memory. What else did he have? Night sweats. Poor emperor. Hot flushes. Hot flushes, night sweats. Palpitations and itching. Right, he had it all, the poor emperor. And the doctors decided they could find a pill for him, made a pill and it helped him, he also told everyone about it. And since then, this pill for these disorders has been known as the emperor of heaven's pill. A very famous medicine in China. Other stories are quite different, which say that one of his doctors dreamed about his emperor and has dreamed of these disturbances and the remedy for them. This is the second story. And how long does that go back, this story? I don't know exactly. I must have known that. I've been inside this palace before. You can still visit it, with an entrance ticket. There is a gate in every direction and with the original facilities from the past still inside. That's quite interesting to look at. But I really don't know when that was. Somehow I wasn't interested in when that was. So this mixture is called Tian Wang Biu Xin Dan. Exactly. Just that I also speak Chinese. And it also says it tarnifies the heart. Exactly. Tarnifies means brings the rhythm, right? Yes, basically strengthens. I might have to say something about that if I have time. Yes. That's good. Namely, there are very specific suggestions about the heart. When the heart is to be healthy in Chinese medicine and when it should be sick. There is a wonderful sentence by a famous English Chinese doctor. I don't know if I can get it together. I try to explain as well. Is the heart strong and is there enough blood? You have to remember that. Strong in this language of ancient Chinese medicine doesn't mean powerful, doesn't mean a huge muscle in there. But strong means balanced. It is a harmony between yin and yang. That means between driving forces and between the breaking forces in the heart. So that the rhythm is always there. There would also be arrhythmias in the case of illness. And the other things that belong together in the heart are also okay. 
Is the heart strong and is there enough blood? Then the emotional life is good. The psychological experience balanced. You can see the relationship between heart and psyche. An important the sentence, enough blood available. Not only strong, but blood is also part of it. Because blood is associated with the yin, and breaks harder again. So when the heart wants to beat too fast, the yin falls. If there is enough yin, then the heart can beat at the right pace. Those are the backgrounds. Then the psychic life is balanced. Very important, the relationship between mind and heart. It's in Chinese medicine. Spirit is roughly understood as the force that makes up our personality. This is how you could see it. And the spirit resides in the heart according to these suggestions. That's where it lives. But it only lives there. And it only lives well there if there is enough well-being there. That is when there is enough yin, when there is enough blood. That is the requirement. And so they say in China that the spirit can find its home. That's why it's also very exciting that you can relate heart and spirit in this way. That people, if they act very negatively on their environment, that it can also damage the heart. You can express it like that. Then it means when the factors are all there, when they are perceptible, then you have a very good memory. The thinking is sharp and precise. Sleep is good and always adequate. And consciousness clear. That says everything about the relationship between the heart and the spirit but also between the heart with its components of yin and yang, with the driving and the calming forces. And that's where all the causes of the disease came from, from the imbalance between yin and yang, between yang and blood, which in turn also belongs to yin. One saw with the emperor that in his states of insomnia, lack of concentration, the itching that kept him from resting, but also his mental attitude, that he must have a very specific disease, a very specific weakness of the heart. And that's how this pill was created. This emperor of heaven's pill. And that's what we're going to do now. You write indications insomnia, anxiety, nervousness and restlessness. These are now for indications in which a lot of viewers will certainly see themselves reflected. Exactly. So restlessness was probably a leading characteristic of the emperor. Anxiety is an important indication for this remedy. So people who are prone to have anxiety, are afraid of every little thing, who can occasionally experience panic attacks without reason. Panic states are often baseless fears. And there it is also a wonderful remedy, Emperor of Heaven's pill. But you know, also contemporary, there has been a lot of scaring in the last two years. Of course, an awful lot. There are still a few survivors from the whole crisis. And now comes the next fear, an even worse wave that you can no longer believe. And such fears are always about what if. People have such thoughts, what if. So do we actually automatically get into these indications? And of course it also leads to sleep disorders, leads to restlessness, to a lack of concentration. So the other symptoms actually follow, logically. And that's a wonderful tool. So I keep hearing from psychosomatics or psychoneuroimmunomenon. That precisely such states of anxiety ultimately also lead to somatic, so physical, ailments and diseases, if you're not careful, right? Fear naturally leads to cramping, to cramping of the muscles. It's also increasing that people have tension in the neck and shoulder area, that you have tension in your arm muscles, that you have tension in your face muscles. It all comes from this fear when you feel powerless in that fear. And of course this fear then also causes difficulty concentrating. It causes the already mentioned anxiety. And I think it's a very leading trait and symptom in us humans right now, as a result of COVID-19, of the Ukraine war. Of this still exaggerated fear. 
Yes, now a worse variant will come and then an even worse variant will come and then there is long COVID. Yes, there is already a media wave that is being driven, which of course also triggers something. But if we stay with the indications, then the normal conventional medical answer with insomnia would be likely valerian. That would be the nicest thing. That would be the best. You get a sleeping pill, right? Sleeping pill. Tranquilizer. For anxiety and antidepressants, right? Exactly. Nervousness and restlessness. It's also part of it. There are also people who then turn to alcohol to bring in a bit more calm, right? Of course you try in every possible way to calm down somehow, to be able to live better. Living in fear is not a condition. And not being able to sleep, everyone knows that, you can suffer from it, you can get sick from sleeping disorders. And all of that is improved by this pill. Is it really a pill or is it a tea now? Well, originally it's a pill. Wang is the word for pill. It's a pill, but you can make it as a tea as well. The effectiveness is the same. Again, all of these problems that we listed as indications can be treated therapeutically, medically, effectively by drinking a tea. Exactly. <laughs> by taking a pill. Yes, sometimes it seems almost too easy, but there is a great deal of science behind this whole recipe. And you have to say that sometimes. Centuries old knowledge. Yes, exactly, a high level of knowledge. And I quickly read 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different preparations of roots, herbs and God knows what this is all supposed to be. The only thing I know is ginseng. The others I can hardly pronounce. In various compositions, I see each individual product a different gram versus the other. Another quantity number, exactly. Exactly. And this constellation, which is finished like this, would actually be the recipe for my viewers. That's it. If necessary. Wonderful. It leads to a much better, deeper sleep. It leads to much more inner peace and takes away the restlessness. What more do you want? To be honest, I'm just wondering if it's good for everyone. That's good for everyone, yes. Well, it's actually a bedtime tea, but here it is medicinally effective, so, not constantly. One has knowledge based on experience, over centuries. And that always worked out in hindsight. And if someone has such symptoms in China, they go to the pharmacy and get the Emperor of Heaven's pill. Traditionally it is a pill. But you can just as easily make a tea out of it, you can just as easily make a powder out of it. Everything is possible. It also says application here. The mixture is intended for a period of 14 days. Your pharmacist will tell you the daily dose. If you take it, you take it for 14 days and then this inner piece should be there again from the inside out. The balance is established. That must be the goal. I always say health is seen by taking medicine. When I am so far that I no longer want to and do not have to take medicine, then I can say I am healthy. As long as I still want to and have to take medicine, I'm not healthy, I'm sick. That's a different kind of definition of disease. Recently, very, very recently, I read a quote from Osho. There he said that the most beautiful flower in the world grows in the filthiest mud of all. Namely the lotus flower. That's right, that's actually true. His conclusion is that you can pour a lot of garbage into yourself. What matters is what we make of it. I also thought that was very nice. The lotus flower makes something very beautiful out of it. The lotus flower is also highly revered. Often depicted in the chakras, in the images, a lotus flower is also depicted. And then you have to know, the lotus is also a food source. This fruit, the fruit stand, where in the flower shops you always have a ball, a hemisphere with holes like that in it, there are normally hazelnut-like fruits. You crack them open and can eat them or make a delicious soup out of them, it tastes wonderful. The lotus flower? Yes. Wow, I didn't even know. 
But I knew that there were a lot of minerals in the mud and probably a lot of nutrients. And then there is something else where the science lies, it has leaves where the water rolls off. We're still looking for it, recently I think they've figured it out a bit, that you find materials, on glass, on the panes, for example, that there are no more water stains because everything rolls off. And you will always see when you observe a lotus flower in the water or in the rain, there is not a drop left. Everything rolls off. That has been a big secret until recently. They wanted to find out how it does it, for paint on cars, for plastering. I think they've already found it for houses. And for other materials that are just outside and need to be protected, that must not get wet, I believe that this substance was discovered in this lotus blossom. But we still go back to this discovery and this treasure, which actually for most Europeans and our viewers was still unknown to this day. Here with this recipe, with this tea mixture, it is possible to overcome all these indications and feel better. And if you don't believe it, do it. But how do I actually get this Emperor of Heaven's pill so that it is really effective? Of course via appropriately trained pharmacies. So pharmacists who sell traditional Chinese medicine preparations, they must have gone through training. They know when I say, dear pharmacist, you are an expert, I need the Emperor of Heaven's pill. It must be a TCM pharmacist. Then they may know it. And then they may not know or in all probability not know the latest variants of it. In the past, people used to make tea from these herbs, boiled it and drank it. That was the norm. Or ground it, made a powder out of it. There are different techniques how to make powder. As said traditionally it would be a powder, but there is the option of tea or ultra-modern, the compactates, that's from the company Compassan, which are easy to handle, also taste reasonable, where you also have the guarantee that they are healthy, that they do not contain any additives that can harm us. They are free from any admixtures, free from impurities such as mold, what was already there in earlier times. You can take that with confidence. Any pharmacy can actually order it. And then there are also various pharmacies that sell it online and where other pharmacies also shop. In Germany, for example, that would be the train station pharmacy. They also sell in other pharmacies, they have wholesaler status. You can buy it also now in Zurich, you can get them in the lower Napathik. Otherwise you can look it up on the internet under my name, under holer-dieter.de. All the recipes from this book are in there, so of course it's included. And if you don't know where to get it, you can look it up at composan.de. It's a kind of manufacturer or intermediate manufacturer that sells it to the pharmacies. They have a list of all the pharmacies that can sell it, including ones in your area. Okay, great. And otherwise these two online retailers would be there. So now I can buy from these two online retailers, that you said, also go online and see what kind of compactates they offer and I'm actually looking for the Emperor of Heaven's pill for a good night's sleep. And if I can't find it, I'll call them because they must have the recipe to make it for me. So a pharmacist who has the book or who knows how to get to the company Compassan, I actually expect that from the pharmacist, who can then order it directly. And only a few of these pharmacies have this apparatus that can produce it themselves. But they can get it. But these compactates are like a kind of granulate. These are very fine granules, where this extract is bound from a large quantity. And then I have a cup of tea for 14 days. And then I really have the quality that I need and also the medical effects, which are actually used here as a foundation. And here I appeal again and again to rather pay more than to pay less. Better to take the best, because it's just a shame. And that has also ruined the reputation when people buy cheap products and then they have no effect and are disappointed about it. It is actually equivalent to a tea, a self-made tea, but with the certainty that you have no impurities, that it is certified and that it also tastes much better. 
dass es zertifiziert ist mhm. und dass es auch ähm, geschmacklich wesentlich besser ist. And also from the overall degree of purity. Now if that works the way you say, and I believe your success rate of working with such teas, shows a high probability that it also works for us. Exactly. Then I also find it a bit embarrassing somehow when my doctor or the experts in this country do not make me aware, that I should just try it with a cup of tea. Because they don't actually know it. But that's kind of a shame. After all, we need global, interactive knowledge, compiled from various professions, where the patient's well-being is paramount. We may have made a mistake with the term tea. It's still in there with medicinal tea. Tea, that usually has a derogatory effect on my colleagues. Is that so? I say so too. Because tea isn't medicine, sort of. Yes, it's just a tea. But word hasn't really got around that tea can be a highly effective medicine. Didn't get through. And we would have to tell my colleagues that you have a high quality medicine in your hands. With almost no side effects. No side effect, right? Exactly. Unless you take the wrong tea, where there are indications that don't concern me. You gave me an example. People who have cold feet all the time shouldn't wear anything that warms them. Conversely, which cools even more. Exactly, which cools even more. That is the danger. You think all symptoms match. But don't look at the temperature. And then you freeze even more. Or hot-tempered people who have a red head where the heat always rises to the head, would now eat even more heated food. In everyday life, that would be alcohol, for example. But there are also herbs that are very hot. You could also use coffee as an example. Coffee, for example, would be poison for them. I find this book fascinating, on the one hand, you have these symptoms, you have the application, the recipe, the indication. And then there are very specific hints from Chinese medical theory. As follows, very effective in the elderly, with great restlessness and nervousness. Emotional instability is common. The tongue is usually very red. Yes, it's important to understand what that means. In Chinese medicine, the tongue belongs to the heart. We know a lot of words about it. Speak from the heart. Or speak with a forked tongue. For example with the Indians. There are many words that point there. Something is on the tip of the tongue. There is also that someone speaks from the heart. So if they are telling the truth or if they are very honest. And that's what is meant. The tongue is located at the base of the tongue. It is more related to digestion, and the tip to the heart. A red tip always indicates that someone has too much yarn on their heart. Has too much heat at heart. Example. Can you do that? Tongue diagnosis? Yes. We have to talk about it. That's incredibly exciting. Yes, that's exciting. For example, I was still a young doctor. I had to see a patient, an elderly lady who had a tumor, and seemed very emaciated. Really weak, wrinkled, exhausted. At the end of life. I went there. I shook her hand. I expected an ice-cold hand. But it was hot. The hand was hot. Until later I learned that if the cooling part is missing, the yin is missing, this is often the case at the end of cancer or at the end of life, then there is an empty, false heat. A sick heat. Because it is very consuming. It consumes a lot of energy. And she lay in the cold room, drank ice-cold stuff, just wanted cold food. The heat was just annoying for her. Because heat pushed her even more into her illness. And so it is with hot and cold. And there is something else in the recipe. The age is mentioned. Older people used to have symptoms. It almost turned today. The old man was weak. Had no more yin. Walked into the heat. But nowadays young people are so emotionally burdened that they get a heat inside. A commotion. A lack of concentration. That didn't exist before. So the world turned upside down. 
I read another important application limitation. With these conditions and symptoms do not drink alcohol, no coffee, no black tea, no spicy food and no sumptuous meal in the evening. Because all of this intensifies the heat and, especially at night, intensifies it into sleep. And heat means that all metabolic processes, including thought processes, go faster. That means I can't relax. When do I drink the tea? It's already said for 14 days, and then an hour before bed or two hours. I would recommend taking this three times a day so that the sleep rhythm can be adjusted better. You don't get tired from it. This drug does not make you tired, but it makes you calm and relaxed. Tiredness itself is only the last indicator at the end of the chain. It's all about balance. Exactly. It's always about the balance. It's always about being balanced. There was also just a brief mention of emotional life. When one has no stability, when the spirit is not anchored in the heart, we are emotionally unstable. Emotionally unstable means I jump out of my skin at every little thing. That I explode for absolutely no reason. I also know people there. Someone says something wrong and I blow up. And they doesn't even know what's happening. That would be emotional instability. Then the tea would be good again. The tea would also be great because it balances, harmonizes, calms, relaxes and also helps in other ways, because it increases concentration. Because it completely takes away all restlessness. You know people like that who always sit like this all the time. I watched one. I was on vacation in Greece. There were two men sitting opposite each other. A younger one. And he always did that. And then he shoved in a spoonful of food. Nothing was calm anymore. That is not healthy. And that's where it helps. I was already wondering when should patients, healthy or sick people consider the visit with a biological doctor actually the first stage. I say now biological doctor, but also a TCM doctor. Just a person who understands all the biological connections, can analyze yin-yang in the body and just tries to convey the balance. And only in a second, third, fourth stage, maybe, all the conventional medicine paths are okay, but at least at the beginning, that the insurances would cover this. Because I think you could save huge amounts here. If you would work with such things and not just smile at these treasures, but take them totally seriously. There is already a rule in Chinese medicine, especially in herbal medicine, that you first look at how people live, what is their lifestyle like? How's their food? How do they take meals? What is their food culture? You would turn these screws first. And if that doesn't work, then the Chinese medicine comes along. The Chinese herbal medicine. Only then. Great. So I think the book is indispensable because I'm someone who doesn't need it online. You offer the book here with the recipes on your homepage. Anyone can look for free. Read through it online and pick the recipe that matches them. I personally like the book. I like working with it. I never wanted to do without a book either. I've never had anything online. I always need the book. I must have something in my hand. I need to be able to see this. And Mark. It goes into the head in a completely different way. Stick a note in, mark it, underline it. Behind this book is not just a book that was written, but the way that these compactates in original recipes, certified with the original products in clean quality reaches the pharmacist. You actually set everything up to make it work and secured it right down to the training of the pharmacists, who can then also mix it. And as the only place that's legally allowed to sell this to us, it is the pharmacist or the doctor of course. Of course there is also. Teas, pills, but also powders that can be sold in pharmacies without a prescription. There are, but not all. There are definitely prescriptions, so the pharmacist has to look carefully. Is this thing over the counter or not? So there are prescriptions, so I need a doctor to write a prescription. It depends on the individual components. That's changing again. 
But those in here are free? Almost all of them are free. I don't know anything now that isn't. Thank you very much. That was for you, ladies and gentlemen, Dieter Holly and the doctor from Germany who knows about it and revealed these treasures to me and you. Many thanks again, dear Dieter. It was very nice. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. I wish you all the best. Have fun experimenting with this tea blend and I hope and wish with all my heart that you will also have this success which of course we all want free of any preparations, which also have side effects, but starting with pure nature. Thank you very much. All the best and see you next time.